Hey guys, I'm Jen from Jen Bug Handmade Crafts. You can find me on Ravelry as Knit and Jen. You can find me on Instagram as Jen Bug Handmade, and you can find me also on my website at jenbughandmade.com. So today let's talk about the best free shawl patterns for beginning knitters. All the patterns you're gonna see today are free on Ravelry so that you will be able to go ahead and check out the pattern before you decide to get the yarn and materials to knit it. That way you can look at it and decide whether or not it looks too hard for you to knit. The very first pattern I wanna to talk to you guys about is Grain by Tin Can Knits. Grain is a beautiful triangular garter shawl. This shawl can be knit in not only a worsted weight, but also a DK weight of yarn and a fingering weight of yarn. Tin Can Knits is really great because not only do they give you the three different pat, um, the three different yarns available, they tell you all the coordinating needle sizes needed to go with those yarns. They also offer a ton of resources on their website with direct links in their pattern to their website where they can tell you techniques such as casting on, binding off, and any increases and decreases, whatever you need to make their shawls. This shawl is actually a part of a whole collection called the Simple Collection that 10 Can Knits has made free for beginning knitters. So you should also go and check those out. What else is great about this shawl is that you can knit it in one color, you can knit it in two colors, three colors, whatever you want. You just switch the color of yarn when you get to the point where you want to. The pattern itself shown has four colors, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to knit it in four colors. It also would look great knit up in a speckled yarn or a variegated yarn. Another great thing about this shawl is that the increases are only made with yarn overs. Yarn overs are very easy increase stitches for beginning knitters. The next shawl I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is Terribly Simple by Caitlin French. I love this shawl and I've knit it myself. I'd show it to you, but I've given it away. This shawl is a garter crescent shawl and it is super easy. The only stitch that you have to know besides the knit stitch is knit front and back. And that is how you make your increases in this shawl. This is a fingering weight shawl pattern. So you can knit it in fingering weight. I know that when I made mine, I knit it in a sport weight, which is slightly thicker than a fingering weight and it turned out beautifully. I went up one needle size. Um, you can also make this shawl only using one skein of yarn, depending on your skein of yarn. The skein of yarn that I used was about 350 yards sport weight, but if you have a fingering weight, you can knit it up in one skein of fingering weight. Next shawl that I would recommend for you guys is the Boneyard Shawl by Stephen West. Stephen West is a famous knitwear designer known for his extravagant and beautiful designs, but every now and then he'll surprise us with something very simple, such as his Boneyard Shawl. This is a great stockinette a triangular shawl, but it also has a garter stitch border. So that way you can knit and purl. His shawl is written in a DK or worsted weight yarn, and the increases are made using make one lefts and make one rights. It also gives instructions in this to uh, substitute the make one right and make one lefts for yarn overs instead, if you prefer. The next shawl that I would recommend for any beginning knitter is the Age of Brass and Steam by Orange Flower Yarn. Um, this shawl is such a beautiful shawl with just a tiny bit of lace, just enough to give you some interest. This shawl is another garter and stockinette triangular shawl. It's knit in a DK and worsted or worsted weight yarn, and you can knit it in a solid yarn. You can knit it in a variegated or speckled yarn as well. The increases in this shawl are made with make one left, make one right, and yarn overs. Uh, this shawl also uses decreases using knit two together. And it's a beautiful shawl that would be great for any beginning knitter. The fifth shawl I'm gonna talk to you guys about today is Ex-Boyfriends. This shawl has a bit of a different shape. It is an asymmetrical triangular shawl. Uh, and this is also knit in garter stitch. This shawl pattern calls for a fingering weight yarn. You can make it out of leftovers, out of one skein of fingering weight, uh, you can knit it until you decide to be done. This garter stitch shawl uses knit front and back and knit two together for increases and decreases. And it's super easy and simple enough for anybody who is new to knitting and wants to make a shawl. Last shawl I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today is a bonus shawl because it is a paid for pattern, but it is the little shawlette that I'm wearing right now. 
This shawl is the Hitchhiker Stall, Hitchhiker Shawl by Martina Bim. Um, and this was one of the very first nice shawls that I ever made myself. I love this shawl because although it is a paid for pattern, it has very easy, simple instructions and it's easy to understand. This is a garter stitch, asymmetrical, triangular shawl. You can see that this side has a bit more than this side. This shawl was a ton of fun to make. I made it in one skein of sport weight yarn. This is, this yarn I believe is discontinued, but it's Miss Babs Sharuku. It was a merino and silk yarn. You can make this in a fingering weight yarn. Uh, you could make it in a worsted weight yarn. You just have to coordinate with going up or down needle sizes as you go up and down with the yarn. So this wall shawl, while it's paid for, is something that was super easy to make. Uh, increases were made with knit front and backs and decreases were made by binding off stitches. So that's it, you guys. Make sure to check out the information below. I'll post links to all the patterns as well as recommended yarns for each pattern. Thanks for watching. Please consider giving me a like and subscribe if you liked what you heard today.